Wrote a lot of stories about the horrors of addiction, overdoses, crime, death. It's discouraging. Tonight, though, the story is just the opposite. It's about hope and a warrior for recovery and her legacy of love. My dream was to help women just like me to come into to a program where they were able, was able to be themselves, uh, able to express themselves, and just be loved unconditionally. That's Angie Edwards in a video that was shot five years ago about the House of Freedom and Miracles that she founded, a place for women to find recovery from the disease of addiction. I had lost custody of my child. He was four years old. My family was pretty much done. My friends were done. I was real, like, negative. That was, I was escaping. I wanted to escape. When she looked at me and smiled, I felt like I was welcomed. I felt like I was understood. Um, and I felt love. Those women are describing the beginning of their journey at the house. But something special happens when you're at a place known for freedom and miracles. She taught us as a group of women how to empower one another and how to love each other and um, how to help one another. She told me that I was a, uh, I was a fruit of my own tree. She used to always tell me that. And I was like, okay, I, whatever that mean at the time, but as I went on, I understood that. She gave me hope and she gave me a choice. She gave me a future. I watched them dress up and, and glow. I watched them shine. And shine they do. Now I got my bachelor's in social work from Mount St. Joseph. Now I have a job in 90 way. And today I help people. I own my own home. I have another child that I've had in recovery. I'm engaged to be married to the love of my life. I am coming up on six years clean in June. Um, I'm 24 years old. I'm a homeowner. A powerful message was instilled in these women. You know, people don't have to die from this disease. And I don't think we hear enough about the recovery. It's happening right now as we speak because of people like Angie. Miss Angie, as most people called her, started the house 15 years ago. And for the first seven years, she did it all by herself. In 2009, she linked up with the Serenity Recovery Network, and her message spread even further through the women whose lives she touched. They are giving it out to the people they come in touch with, who are giving it out to people they come in touch with, and we're talking about hundreds, hundreds of women being affected by Angie's love. Angie Edwards passed away last week from cancer that was diagnosed just a few weeks ago. But her mission is unchanged. The House of Freedom and Miracles is moving to a larger house with more room to help more people who will help more people. And to be able to go from 10 women to 15 women is exactly what Angie was wanting and hoping for. Whatever it is that Angie started will continue, I'm sure of it. I see change, I see possibilities and I see miracles. Tonight, proof the hope is real and recovery is possible. There will be a celebration of Miss Angie's life Saturday morning at Crossroads Church in Oakley. All are welcome. Angie's mission of bringing hope to women will carry on. If you'd like to help in her effort to help break the grip of addiction, you can donate to the House of Freedom and Miracles, and we have a link at local12.com. John Gum joins us now.